Hey guys, Ashley here. Today we are going to be filling in my planner together and I want to show you guys my process for how I fill out my planner. Um, obviously I don't fill out like every little detail. I fill out the things that I've planned for and then, you know, as the week goes and as the day goes on or whatever, I do have to add things or, and change things and that kind of thing. But basically this is kind of how I set it up for the week. The first thing that I do, which I showed this inside of my setup video, this is an hourly planner by the happy planner. This is where I block schedule my day. My day starts here. Um, sometimes I do this the night before, but usually it's first thing in the morning. I come through and I, I basically plan out my day as far as the things that I've already planned out um, here and here, which I'll show you all this in just a second. So um, I've already filled this out for today. And so I just block schedule. And so like from eight to 10 in the morning was my morning routine. I did sleep in today, which I wanted to do from 10 to one was filming and editing and taking photos um, from one to three is going to be lunch. Um, we got to run to the grocery store. Actually, no, that got changed. That's not going to be until tomorrow and work out. I've got a study block, a cleanup and catch up block, and then our evening routine. And so when I come in here in the mornings, that's what I do. And so I'm not going to fill this out and today is Monday. So I'm not going to fill this out until in the morning. Cause I don't know, um, 100% yet how I want my day to go. I kind of it helps me once I get to the end of the day, end of the day, like to see if I if I missed anything, if I need to reschedule stuff. So I don't like to fill this out in advance. This happens day by day. But what we are going to fill out together is this, which is my catch all planner. And by catch all, I mean <laughs> anything and everything, really. Um, everything except for. Well, I shouldn't say except because sometimes I do put that in here. I usually don't put social media in here and I don't put health and fitness stuff inside of here. Everything else in my life goes inside of this planner. And what I've done, I have my pre-planning sheet over here. And so these are the things that I've already pre-planned for. And this is the stuff that I'm going to fill in today now. And then as the week goes on, I will um, come back through and I will, you know, add things or, or change things around or whatever. So we are going to start with today, which is Monday. Um, I like to set priorities for the day. And so that's where these blocks down here for this particular spread, that's where these are gonna go as my priorities are gonna go here. Now I said I normally don't add like workout stuff in here. Like by that, I mean, I don't add what workout I'm doing. I don't write down where um, what I'm eating throughout the day or how much water I'm drinking, none of that here, but my priorities today do include my workout. Doing my workout today is a priority for me. And so that's why it's listed here. So filming and editing and doing my workout are my top priorities today. These up here are gonna be my checklist for the day. Um, I kinda, should I have done stickers or something? or let me do something real quick. So I'm gonna take this Sharpie S note and I'm gonna make um, checklist boxes for the each day of the week. I didn't think about that whenever I, whenever I did this. So I'll just do that real quick. So there's my checklist. I should have used like blue or pink. I think that yellow might have not been the best color choice, but we're here now. We did it, right? Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, this over here was social media stuff, so I don't need it right now to fill in this part. So I will just go off of what I wrote down over here. Okay, so for today, the things that I needed to get done is um, creating this vertical spread, which I did. Normally I do this on the weekends, but I was a little bit behind this weekend. So doing that and creating my fitness spread, which again, same thing, I normally do that on the weekends, but we're a little late this week, which happens, getting laundry done. That's just general to do's. I also have a team call tonight at 8.30 and 
my son ended up going with my dad today so we're gonna write on here pick up Levi and I'm gonna pick him up um, at six o'clock so there's that and then I'm just gonna go through the rest of the week and fill this in I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else Skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive. drive a faster car i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town Break me. So there we are so far. Um, I just basically kind of filled in the things that I've already I've already planned for, and then I also I can pretty much set my um my top priorities in advance. Sometimes I do this in the morning. It actually used to be a habit to only set them in the morning. But based on the plans that I've created, I can kind of see what my top priorities are. So I've got my priorities set. I don't always have three, but I never exceed three. Um, it seems like whenever I have priorities of like four and five, I just get overwhelmed and I don't stick to anything. So um, I, I keep it three or less. Um, and then on here, I've got my studying every single day, which I need to write over here that I need to study every day. I've got my cleaning schedule in here. Um, things I need to get prepped for, errands that we've got to do, um, all of that jazz is here ready to go with my priorities. Um, I'm honestly not so sure what I'm going to do in that box just yet. It might be like a win of the week or um, I don't know, maybe some gratitude or something. I'm honestly not 100% for sure on that. So we'll just, we'll leave it blank and then I come back and fill it in as we go. So we will pop these back in here. Now the other thing that I wanted to fill out with you guys, but if I'm being completely honest, I sat down and just started doing it and I didn't even think about it. Um, I was gonna show you guys how I fill out my social media planner, but what I'm gonna do is just walk you guys through how I fill this out, what everything means and, and all of that jazz. So we'll set this up here out of the way. So over here on the left side, this is going to be for this week's spread. This is going to just be a general to-do list as far as um, anything that I need to do for coaching. Um, I am a health and fitness coach. So anything I need to do for coaching, anything I need to do for social media, for YouTube, for filming, editing, planning, anything like that. Um, this one I did make just a, a coaching to-do list because I do have a lot of things this week to do for coaching and I didn't think that it would fit. But normally I just have a general to-do list. Um, actually both of these are normally just to-do lists, but I made this one specific for coaching this week. And then the rest of this down here is just decorated. And then over here on this page, this is where, this is where the magic happens. Um, so up here, this block is my YouTube schedule. So these are the videos that I'm posting every single day. Here, um, on each day of the week, the little flag represents what I'm posting to 
um, Instagram. And I usually, um, I've been trying to post twice a day. Again, I'm not perfect at this, but I try to post twice a day. So I have both of my, both of the things that I want to post written out up here on every day, right? And then anything else in there is just to-do list. So, um, for example, let's, let me walk you through today. I know that I wanted to post a picture of my garden and after the pin dashboard. And that's what the ATP stands for is after the pin. And so those are the two posts that I have. And I know today that I need to film my setup, my new setup. I need to film an August setup and also filling in my planner, which is what we're doing now. That way I can get this stuff ready to go for the week. And um, I also need to edit up, to edit up, <laughs> to edit this setup video and get it scheduled. Um, the setup video is going to be posted tomorrow, so that's why it needs to be edited today, so I can get it up tomorrow. Um, I have a team call tonight. It is uh, the topic that we're talking about with coaching and fitness and health and all that stuff is going to be effort. Talking about how we got to put in effort if we want to get results. So that's going to be tonight. Um, Tuesday, I know that I'm doing a missing out graphic. That's just the way I call things graphics or, um, actually a better way to explain this was that I, I post three types of pictures. I've got my planner, my planner photos. So this could be any, any type of planner picture. I've got pictures of me that I post and I have graphics that I post. And so I will write out that it's a graphic and then what that graphic, kind of like a title of what it is. And I know what that means. And then tomorrow I'm going to be posting a before the pin fitness spread. And I know tomorrow that I need to edit the August setup and this video here so I can get those scheduled out for the week. And then Wednesday, similar thing, except I'm going to be filming the rest of the videos um, for, for this week. Thursday, I'm going to finish editing those. Friday, I'm actually going to start filming for next week. So I already have plans made out for videos for next week. So I will start filming those this weekend. And then Saturday and Sunday, what I typically do as the week starts is I kind of leave these blank. So let's say that Friday I didn't get all of this filmed. Um, I can kind of move things over here or here or edit or whatever. I can, I can kind of have some space to rearrange things. So that's basically how I fill all of this out with social and coaching and um, YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff. That's how, that's kind of how the process works for me. Usually what I do is I use this sheet to plan the social media, like actually sitting down and planning it before I write it in my planner. But this week I just used the back of this page here and I just planned it out here. So I planted, planted, oh my goodness gracious, I need words. I planned out the photos that I needed to take, which I got this one. I still need to take that photo. And I planned out my post for the day. Um, and then I actually planned out YouTube over here on this sheet. So basically this was just me transferring this information to here, right? And here on the front is where I planned out the, my filming and editing schedule each day. So I just took the information from these pages and put them here. I took the information from this section over here, put it in my catch all. That's pretty much how I set up or, um, how I fill in my planner every single week. Now I do have a, um, nutrition fitness planner that gets filled in daily. So I don't, um, I usually fill it in in the evenings. I actually track everything, the food that I'm eating on an app on my phone. And then in the evenings, as a part of my planning routine, I actually write down what I ate that day, how much water I drank and what workout that I did. So um, that doesn't happen until the evening. Today's not over with, so I'm not gonna fill that section in just yet. That's pretty basic anyways. It's me just writing in what I ate for the day. But that's it guys, that's how I fill out my planner to get the week started. Um, like I said, I just fill in things as I go. If plans change, I rework things. I mean, we all have to do that. So, um, that's how I plan it out for the week and get it filled in and everything set up and ready to go. If you guys have any questions, please don't ever hesitate to ask. I'm always here. I'm happy to help. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, come hang out with me on Instagram and I'll see y'all in the next video.